Economists, particularly public choice economists, have provided an operating manual to businessmen who want to use government to gain favors, privileges they could not achieve through competition. This is called rent seeking, and businessmen are certainly urged, why don't you consider rent seeking, at least not from a moral viewpoint, but from an economic gain viewpoint by public choice economists. But of course, businessmen could also seek to liberate part of the terrain that's been captured by government over the last century, expanding the sphere in which their entrepreneurial skills could create wealth for the nation and also for the companies themselves. Public choice economists have provided a very poor operating manual for entrepreneurial capitalists who want to do good. Why not? More about that in a moment. have won, have spent much time, indeed have won Nobel Prizes for discussing how businessmen may find it advantageous to seek rents, special favors in the political sphere to gain advantages for themselves at the expense of the taxpayer and the citizenry and economic growth overall. But of course, now that we've moved from a 5% of the economy being political in the 19th century to almost half of the economy being political in the world we live in today, that terrain is obstructed with political rules, with government preemption, subsidies and so forth, making it very hard for entrepreneurial capitalists to create wealth. Why have an economist thought about uh, providing an operating manual, helping the business community go into that political sphere, clear it away of government debris, and gain more operating freedom, more terrain in which to create wealth through their entrepreneurial skills. Our economists have much to answer for in creating a theory of, vert of sin, but never focusing on the theories, the manuals, for virtuous action by the business community. We need both, but it's most important in a world that is increasingly politicized to understand how the business community could move out of the private sphere and recognize entrepreneurial opportunities for economic liberalization, privatization, liberalizing regulatory policy, reducing taxes, so that the, well, the skills they have in the private sphere could now move into an expanded private sphere and more wealth could be created, capitalism could move forward, advance into the terrain that has been occupied over the last century as the progressives, our collectivist movement, have taken far too much of our economy. Economic liberty is good for the economy, but it is also good for the businessmen who liberate that terrain. Why have an economist help them achieve that result? <music>